Donald Trump has got a new argument. This is now the, the, the he could hire SEAL Team 6 to assassinate his political rivals. That came out of the D.C. case before D Judge Tanya Chutkin, who got swatted over the, uh, over the weekend, apparently. Um, that case, uh, you know, has to do with, with uh, her uh, criminal. She's presiding over a criminal case where Trump is being charged with, you know, obstructing official acts and basically trying to overthrow the government on January 6th. Well, there's another case, and that's down in Georgia, where Fonnie Willis is prosecuting him for the fake elector thing and for trying to get Brad Raffsenperger to, uh, to overturn the election. And his, his lawyer, Trump's a, a lawyer, has uh, filed a new brief uh, just, just apparently today or yesterday saying this is, uh, I'll, I'll just read from the brief. Our country has a long-standing tradition of forceful political advocacy requiring widespread, regarding widespread allegations of fraud and irregularities in a long list of presidential elections throughout our history. Therefore, President Trump lacked fair notice. And this is, this is the essence of it, right? Nobody told him he was breaking the law. Therefore, President Trump lacked fair notice that his advocacy in the instance of the 2020 presidential election could be criminalized. President Trump, like all citizens, is entitled to have fair warning. So let me get this straight. According to Trump's lawyers, if you don't realize that something is a crime, you can't commit a crime. If you go to the bank and put a gun in the teller's face and say, give me all the money, but you weren't really sure that it was a crime. Now, I, I, I get it that that's the, the, the foundation of the insanity plea, right? That, that insane people don't understand that what they're doing is a crime. And therefore, they can be found not guilty by reason of insanity. I don't think Donald Trump is claiming that, but it's the same foundation. And in fact, I think that's the only place where you can say that, you know, knowledge or lack of knowledge of the law, ignorance of the law, is actually an excuse, is in the insanity defense. And what I find interesting is that nobody is pointing out, at least nothing, not that I've seen, that Trump in the Georgia case in this new filing is essentially making an insanity defense. That, you know, he didn't know. He was not aware that it was a crime to overthrow the government of the United States or overturn an election or steal an election.